Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, we will be playing up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, I know there has been a lot of social media buzz today about Jimmy Butler asking for a trade. And what better way to show you guys why I think Jimmy Butler deserves that trade and why I think the team will be keeping him in Minnesota for as long as they possibly can. Now, today I'm going up against Andrew Wiggins. I am at small forward. A lot of people always get it confused because when you guys see me streaming on Facebook, you see me running shooting guard at the rec. You see me sometimes playing power forward if we're running with a point forward. But I am classified as a small forward. And at small forward, I was putting Andrew Wiggins in a blender today. Now, what I've been doing is grinding my badges. Now, not only have I been grinding my badges, I've been using one move that I like a lot. And crazy thing, um, we were playing uh, Rec last night for about four hours on Facebook. And, you know, me and Reese's, we kind of play the same at our positions because we always run to the same side. We use a lot of the same moves. And this one move in particular is the spinning jump shot. The spinning jump shot, man, that move is cheese. I'm trying to tell you, listen. Y'all got to look at the footage. You have to understand. The spinning jump shot, even the spinning layup and spinning dunks are insane. The spinning dunk is unstoppable. Spinning layup, if you time it perfectly, is two cheese. Teams can't even mess with you. And out of the spinning animation, guys, you can pump fake or you can pass. It's magical. Now, it's currently 28 to 13. And as we move on, you guys see that I am literally killing Andrew Wiggins. But I think the reason behind me killing Andrew Wiggins is just to open the door for the Jimmy Butler conversation. Now, you guys notice, I have team takeover at this point. Somehow, some way, Minnesota has to be saying on their bench, yo, we got we got to do better. We got to do better. And Butler out here trying his best to put on, but it ain't working. Now, let's talk about Jimmy Butler for a moment. He is a defensive type of player. He is pretty good on offense. Don't get him wrong. Don't he? He nice with the offense. You know what I'm saying? He has vision. He has athleticism. He has a pretty good jump shot. But we always talk about Jimmy Butler's defense because when top tier shooting guards go up against Jimmy Butler, you know they tend to have a hard time. Now Jimmy Butler could be in that conversation as of right now as a top five shooting guard. I don't know. How, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that right now in the NBA, in the way that their format is as far as point guards being ball dominant, do you think that he's classified as a top five shooting guard? I don't know. What, what do you guys think? But I think that he does deserve the trade. I think that, you know, he just wants to get out of that situation in Minnesota. He wants something a little bit more marketable. You know, Minnesota's a great team, don't get me wrong, you know. But as far as a, them having a big market, I don't think that they have a big market. I think that, you know, him wanting to go to New York, Clippers, you know, somewhere where a market is huge, where he can gain, you know, more fans and, a, I guess, maybe a peace of mind. I think that's what he wants. But speaking of peace of mind, we're going to go ahead and hop into a cutscene of me talking about me getting my social media buzz by dunking on somebody back in China. So let's go ahead and get into that, and then we'll get back to the gameplay. We have all seen the incredible dunk. Here's what AI had to say about his viral slam over Corey Harris. You know, the funny thing about that is that when it happened, I didn't even think about how big it was going to be. You know, Corey and I go way back, so I, I was just happy to have gotten one over on him. It really wasn't until the next day that when my phone started blowing up that I realized just how big the reaction was to that dunk. All right, speaking about buzz and social media, not sure if you guys know, but Space Jam 2 has been greenlit. Yes, Space Jam 2, the movie, will be coming out featuring LeBron James. And they actually got the actor from Black Panther to go ahead and direct that thing. So I'm pretty hype about it, but let's talk about the gameplay for a minute. I'm out here stealing, picking pockets as I go ahead and get another dunk right there, man. Go ahead and get my fans up real quick. 10 for 14 from the field is really, really good. Now, a lot of people always say, you know, when they see the scores and stuff like that, hey, what difficulty are you playing on? Are you playing on Hall of Fame? Are you playing on Superstar? Are you playing on All-Star? Are you playing on Pro? I'm going to just let you guys know now. 2K, they going to get right with me. 
Best believe, don't look at the score and say to yourself, oh, he out here playing on the lowest difficulty. No, y'all seen what happened to me in that James Harden video. Y'all know what 2K does to me, man. So I'm just going to let y'all know now, man. Once the second half come, it's going to be ugly. But check out Carl Anthony Towns as he gets that nice up and under step through. Man, all I can tell you guys is the, the post game is cheese this year. You guys have to focus more on that, man. But let's go ahead and get into the halftime break. Thank you, Kevin. Well, you have been getting it done tonight, scoring, rebounding, everything. How have you played, and where have you found all this energy? Well, no, nah, no. Nah. See, you guys understand this hasn't just been me. DA. Uh, as a team, we're playing with a lot of heart tonight. You know, these guys, they boxing out. They're playing physical, and that's allowed me to get a lot of easy shots and get a lot of rebounds. Teammates getting it done individuals getting it done as well great combination kevin all right guys the third quarter is about to start i'm getting up off the bench just to get subbed out and when i come back in with five minutes and 49 seconds left i see that minnesota is only down eight points hold up wait a minute i thought i was finished i thought this was a dub why in the world is minnesota coming back and getting buckets on me i told y'all man this is what 2k does to people 2k say hold up we're going to let you live for a little bit. We're going to give you some life until the second half. We are only up four points. We went from being up 20, probably 20 plus, to being only up four points. Somebody please tell me what type of run this is. Someone please tell me what can we do to possibly come back. Now, I'm driving to the lane right there, trying to make it happen for my team. I guess I'm the only one that can make it happen because, huh. I don't know what's going on. Now, I had 32 points in the first half, right? But guess what they did to me, y'all? They put Jimmy Butler on me. Now, I can just tell you guys right now that this is a mismatch. Not for me. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a mismatch for Jimmy Butler. Not only am I slower than Jimmy, but Jimmy got the clamps. He is a clamp guy. They're on a 14-4 run, and they're up. Please tell me what happened. The 2K say, you know what, we're going to let you play on pro for the first half, but second half Hall of Fame is activated. I don't know what's going on, you hear me? But this quarter is almost over, guys, and uh, I'm freezing cold. The only reason that I'm freezing cold is because a man named Jimmy is standing next to me. Now, Jimmy, uh, I just can, I, I, I don't know what to say. He is a monster. Check this out, watch this. Watch this move right here. Drive to the rack. Kick it out. Stutskis for three. Now, did y'all see the way Jimmy closed out? Jimmy was like, I wish you would. I want my takeover to come on. I want that lockdown trait. Let's get it popping. I'm just trying to put a band-aid on it. That's all I'm trying to do. Now, the fourth quarter is here. They finally put me in at the start of the quarter, but I'm still freezing cold. And Jimmy is still out here putting the business on me. Still putting the work on me, man. I can't get away from Jimmy to save my life. I kick it to Leonard for three, and Leonard does not come in the clutch right there. So you know what's about to happen. You see Jimmy Butler on the break, right? Oh, oh, you thought that I didn't see him? Oh, I saw him. I'm just not fast enough to keep up with that man. And we need a timeout because it's looking crazy. My teammates looking at me, I'm looking at them, and I'm like, why am I playing with the B team? Why every time I come in, I got to play with the B team. It don't make no sense. I don't care if Curry hit that shot. It don't matter. It should have been a three-pointer. We should be tied up right now. <laughs> now, it's 84 to 81, guys. Jimmy Butler is still on me, and I'm still freezing cold. But I got to make something happen here, man. And I see Lillard popping back up top, and you know what time it is. It's Dame time. You hear, you hear me slapping my wrist with my finger? It's Dame time. Now, yeah, Jimmy had his lockdown, his little takeover, and all I can tell you guys is I didn't have no answer for him. That's why I'm still freezing. But luckily, he doesn't get that to go. But, oh, yeah, did I tell you guys how masterful his team is right now? Did I tell you guys that when Hall of Fame turned on, everybody turned to a 99? Did I tell y'all that? Oh, I don't think I let y'all know, but it's 88 to 84, and I'm trying to put some moves on him. Trying to call for a screen and nobody wants to help me out, man. So I let Curry do his thing. I pull up and boy, oh boy, T, you was late. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, T wasn't late. I don't know how I hit that, but I ain't go no more though. And guess what? I got me a mismatch. I got little old Andrew on me. And find out, let me find out Andrew got the clamps now. Hold on, look at this. Look at Jimmy. Did you see Jimmy? 
Jimmy out here putting his body on the line. Now they sub me out, guys. We come back into the game down three points. I don't know if we can win this game. We got two points right there on the board. But Carl Anthony Towns in the post. I said, oh, no, I'm not going to let this happen again. Now we out on a break. I see my boy McCullum over there. I said, hold up. McCullum, what you got for me? Pull up, Jay, for two. Let's go. And that's what I needed. That's exactly what I needed, man. Now, we're currently up one. Damian Lillard, you don't know what he's doing, but Taj Gibson is clamping up on him. And guess what they do to me, guys? They sub me out once again. And you know what I do. I stand up. I look at the bench. And I say, hold up. They went to overtime? Jesus Christ. But luckily, we pulled it out, man. Luckily, we won by three points. I don't know if Jimmy Butler got subbed out. I don't know if he got fouled out. All I know is he couldn't clamp. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. Thank you, Kevin. Well, a tremendous offensive night for you. How did you find that rhythm? You know, I think, uh, I think I'm a volume scorer, DA. I know if I keep putting up shots, they're going to start dropping. And that's what happened tonight. I'm all about putting on a show, and when it wins those games, that's even better. Fans wanted an encore, and you gave it to them. Congratulations on a big win. Back to you, Kevin. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.